Okay, so the first example that we have is, so example one, let's find domain and range of a couple of problems for cotan, for cosecant, and for secant. So the first problem that we have is cotan of 5x minus pi plus 8. And we are asked to find the domain and range of this function. Okay, so we will start with the range. The range is easy. The range is all the real numbers, okay? So the range of this function is all the real numbers. Okay, very, very easy. How about the domain? Well, the domain is all the real numbers except those values that we have vertical asymptotes. So where do we have vertical asymptotes? Well, for cotan, we have vertical asymptotes at pi, okay? So not at just pi, at pi plus or minus n pi. So vertical asymptotes are at pi plus or minus n pi, okay? n being a natural number. Okay, there is another way of writing this. If you just say the vertical asymptotes are at pi times n, n being an integer, Okay, these two are the same thing because let's evaluate a couple of values for natural numbers. So at pi, we have a vertical asymptote. At pi plus 1 pi, we have a vertical asymptote. At pi plus 2 pi, we have a vertical asymptote. At pi minus 1 pi, I have a vertical asymptote and so forth. For pi n, at pi times, so for n equaling 0, at 0, I have a vertical asymptote. n equaling to 1, at pi, I have a vertical asymptote. For n equaling to 2, so 2 times pi, I have a vertical asymptote. n equaling to minus 1, I have a vertical asymptote at minus 1 times pi, so at minus pi, and so forth. So these two expressions are the same thing. So vertical asymptotes for cotan are at pi plus or minus n pi, n being a natural number, or at pi n or n pi, n being an integer. Okay, so at x equaling to pi plus or minus n pi, or n pi, okay, n being an integer, and here n being a natural number, natural number, we have vertical asymptotes, okay, what if we don't have x, we have 5x minus pi, so you're going to equal this, 5x minus pi, to pi plus or minus n pi, okay, so 5x minus pi, we're going to equal it to pi plus or minus n pi, n being a natural number. And then I have to get rid of the 5 and the pi from the x. So it will be 5x equaling to pi plus pi plus or minus n pi. And then x, so if I multiply both sides by 1 over 5, I will have 1 over 5, 2 pi plus or minus n pi. At these x values, Okay, I have a vertical asymptote. Therefore, the domain, let's do it, the domain is all the real numbers except x equaling to this, these values, x equaling to these values. So let's put it right here except x equaling to these values, okay? So the domain is all the real numbers, except those x values that equal to 1 over 5 times 2 pi plus or minus n pi, such that n is a natural number, okay? So do you see how easy it is to find the domain and range? Just follow these steps. Let me give you another example. So example 2. So suppose I have, we're going to look at a different example. Suppose I have, Okay, cotan of square root of x. Okay, let's have not just square root of x, let's have 2 pi square root of x. Okay, and we're asked to find the domain and the range. Okay, so the range is easy, the range is all the real numbers equals to all the real numbers. Okay, how about the domain? Well, here is the trick. So the domain, now 
you may say, well, the domain is all the real numbers except those values that we have vertical asymptotes. However, the tricky part that we have right here is this square root, okay? This square root is not defined for minus x's, okay? So, if you can imagine, okay, this is the coordinate plane. These are the positive x's on this side. These are the negative x's. Okay, so if you evaluate a value or if you say that the domain of this function is all the real numbers except those values that we have vertical asymptotes, we may have vertical asymptotes right here or right here or right here. We have vertical asymptotes like that. And if you say that the domain is all the real numbers except those values that have vertical asymptotes, that means you are including these values except the vertical asymptotes, so except the blue ones, and these values except the blue ones. However, I cannot put the values that are negative, okay, inside this function, okay? So when you are asked to find the domain of this function, you have to say that the domain is all the real numbers except those values that are greater than zero and those values that are not the vertical asymptote. You have to be careful about that. So when I say that, for example, the domain of a cotan it's all the real numbers except those values that we have vertical asymptotes. This is not a template answer. So you can put it anywhere that you want. Okay, you have to be careful. So let me delete all this. So here the domain is, so we have to say that 2 pi square root of x equals 2 pi n. Okay, so if I multiply this or both sides by 1 over 2 pi, I will be left with square root of x equaling to pi over pi n over 2 pi. These two will go away. So from this, I have square root of x equaling to n over 2. And from this, if I square both sides, I'll have x equaling to n squared over 4. Okay, so I have vertical asymptotes at n squared over 4. Okay, so the domain of this function is all the real numbers except those x's that equal to n squared over 4 and except those values that are greater than 0. Okay? So that is about cotan. Let's solve a couple of problems regarding secant and cosecant. Let's find the domain and range of those functions. So example 3. So example 3. So what if we have this function? What if we have 3 cosecant of x minus 2 pi plus 1? Okay, we want to find the domain and range of this function. Well, let's start with the range. Okay, what is the range of this function? Well, cosecant of x, okay, is the reciprocal of sine of x. And for sine of x, the range of the sine of x is all those values that are greater or equal to 1 and less than or equal to minus 1, okay? So for sine of x, if this equals to sine of x, the range was all those values, okay? What if we have cosecant? Well, for cosecant of x, what are we going to do? So if this equals to y, is we going to find the reciprocal of this inequality? And it becomes like that. We're just going to flip everything, okay? So those values that are either greater than or let me put it in this way, those values that are greater or equal than 1 or those values that are less than or equal to minus 1 will be the range of cosecant of x, okay? Those y values, okay? Does that make sense? So the range is this. So here, the way I'm going to find the range is I'm going to put cosecant of x minus 2 pi in this inequality, okay? Since the horizontal shifting that we have does not affect the range of this function. So we will have cosecant of x minus 2 pi to be either greater or equal to 1 or less than or equal to minus 1, okay? Here we have 3 cosecant of x, so we have to somehow convert this inequality to resemble this, just like we did it for sine and cosine. So we're going to multiply everything by 3. We're going to be having minus 3 is greater or equal to cosecant of x minus 2 pi is greater or equal to 3. 
okay and then I have to add one so I'm gonna add one to both sides so here I'm gonna have minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 is greater or equal to cosecant of x minus 2 pi and cosecant of x minus 2 pi is greater or equal to so 3 plus 1 is 4 okay so those y values or the range are those y values that are greater or equal to 4 or less than or equal to minus 2 all those values so if you imagine this is 4 this is minus 2 all these values that are here and here toward positive infinity and toward negative infinity okay all those values are the range of this function okay so that is about the range how about the domain so let's go down well, the domain of this function, okay, we're going to find it in the same way that we found domain of sine and cosine. We're going to equal this to, okay, or we're going to find the place of the vertical asymptotes, and then we're going to exclude it from the real numbers. That will be the domain of this function. So x minus 2 pi will equal to, so we have the vertical asymptotes for cosine at pi plus or minus n pi or add just n pi, n being an integer. Here, n is a natural number. So from this, we will have x equaling to pi plus 2 pi, plus or minus n pi. So from this, we have x equaling to 3 pi, plus or minus n pi, n being a natural number. So let's write it. So the domain is all the real numbers except x equaling to this okay so that is the domain and range of this function so let me give you another example with cosecant so example 4 okay the problems for cosecant and secant are very very similar okay so if I have 1 over 2 cosecant of 2 times x plus 3 and I'm asked to find the domain and range. So let's start with the range, okay? The range will be cosecant of 2 times x plus 3 being greater or equal to minus 1 and 1, okay? Or positive 1 and minus 1, okay? And then I'm going to multiply everything by 1 over 2. So it will be minus 1 over 2 is greater or equal to cosecant of 2 times x plus 3 is greater or equal to 1 over 2. So all those values that are either greater than 1 over 2 equaling to 1 over 2 and those values that are equal or less than minus 1 over 2, okay, are the range of this function. Okay, as simple as that. Very, very easy. How about the domain? Well, I have to find the vertical asymptotes. I have vertical asymptotes at, okay, so for cosecant, I have vertical asymptotes at pi plus or minus n pi. So at x equaling to pi plus or minus n pi, I have vertical asymptotes. But here I have 2 times x plus 3. So I have a 2 right here and x plus 3 right here. Okay, so I have to get rid of the plus 3 and the 2 from the x. So if I multiply both sides by 1 over 2, I will have x plus 3 equaling to 1 over 2 pi plus or minus n pi. Okay, and if I subtract minus 3 from both sides so I'll have x equaling to 1 over 2 pi plus or minus n pi minus 3 then the domain is all the real numbers except x equaling to these values okay x equaling to these values okay so lastly let me give you an example with secant let's do that so example five suppose i have secant of x minus five plus five and i asked to find the domain and range so let's start with the range okay so the range of secant x minus 5 is between 1 and minus 1. So secant of x minus 5, either those y values that are greater or equal to 1 
or less than or equal to minus 1. So if I add a plus 5 right here, I will have, so minus 1 plus 5 is going to be 4 secant, secant of x minus 5. So 1 plus 5 is going to be 6. So all those y values are the range of this function. Okay, how about the domain? Well, the domain, we have to find the vertical asymptotes. So the domain will be, so for secant, all the real numbers, except those values that we have vertical asymptotes. We have vertical asymptotes at x equaling to pi over 2, plus or minus n pi. Okay, so if I have x minus 5, I have to get rid of the minus 5 from the x. So from this, I will have x equaling to pi over 2, plus 5, plus or minus n pi. Okay, so from this, I have x equaling to, so I'll have a 2 right here, pi plus 10, plus or minus n pi. So at these values, I have vertical asymptotes. So the domain is all the real numbers except x equaling to these values. Okay, so that is about finding the domain and range of secant, cosecant, and cotangent. And with this, we come to the end of this lecture.